Welcome back again to our continuing series on the Epson TMT88 series of receipt printers. I'm Ed McMillan with Key Services. In the first part of this video, we tested to make sure that you had a mechanically sound printer. Now let's ensure that your printer is communicating properly with your system. As we look at the back of the TMT88 series, you'll notice that there are several ports in addition to the aforementioned power port. One is the communication. This one represented by a serial connector. You may have a parallel, you may have a micro-specific IDN interface, or even an Ethernet setting. Now you'll notice there is one other port on the back of the printer. This port, marked with a DK, is not a communication port. This port is used to attach your printer to a cash drawer. Once we have the printer correctly attached via the cable to your system, we need to make sure that electronically it is communicating with your system. That setting is handled on the bottom of the printer by the removal of this metal plate. Beneath this plate you will see two banks of dip switches which control communication for either serial parallel communication. So first let's remove this plate. Now as I adjust the printer toward the video camera, you can see that there are indeed two banks, one on the left and one on the right. With every printer that Key Services ships, you'll receive an instruction manual that will show you how to set these particular banks of switches. So let's go ahead and place the security cover back in place and secure it with the single screw. This is the manual that I mentioned just a moment ago. This is a quick setup manual. We have much more detailed manuals available for you, but this manual ships with every printer purchased or repaired by Key Services. On page two of this manual, you'll notice that these are the settings for bank one and for bank two. Now, we always suggest that when you receive a printer back into your restaurant that you actually set the printer up to match the settings of an existing printer in your restaurant. The bank settings on the left, bank settings on the right with a printer that you already have communicating in your restaurant. If for some reason you do not have another TMT88 series of printers in your restaurant, please contact your help desk and they'll give you the communication parameters that you can then use to set up your printer to communicate. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation on the TMT88 series of receipt printers. I'm Ed McMillan with Key Services and we appreciate your business.